okay guys so now let's get deeper into the code as expected we will be getting through all these files which will contain the source code for us so the very first file and and this is basically a very high level overview very first and then we will get deeper into each of these files so when you see a particular screen so this is our very first screen with localhost 4200 so this very first screen is actually created by the help of all these files together so let's just see these files as an o a high, a higher level overview the very first is app.module.ts file so this defines the root module for you named app module that tells angular how to assemble your application together so you can see here that initially we declare only app component here and then slowly as as we go on adding more and more components well we have to add those declarations here in the declarations tab uh, as as you go on getting in, increasing your ang angular applications size so angular uh, this particular file is very important for assembling the complete application as a bundle for you so now you will be uh, like surprising what this bootstrap is and you have seen this bootstrapping somewhere else so let me remind you in main.ts i've told you to remind that uh, to remember that bootstrap module we are bootstrapping the app module so let's first understand what is bootstrapping so in very simple terms i'll tell you it is nothing but reading and compiling which is a bootstrapping process that is in a way again in a very simple terms creating an instance of it so bootstrapping is where the application is loaded when angular comes into life so let's just remind let's just remember and let's just get back a few steps there was something called as index.html there we was we were uh, getting into a script that is main.js which is actually calling the main.ts file so from index.html we are getting into main.ts file which is bootstrapping or initiating app module file which is this particular file app module which is again bootstrapping app component file so this is how the flow goes from index index to main main to app module and app module bootstraps the app component so what is this app component.ts file app component.ts file defines the logic of the app root component that is app component the view associated with this root component becomes the root of the view hierarchy or the dome as you add components and services to your application so this particular code is responsible for a part of screen that you see in front of you so when you see something here this particular thing is responsible uh, and is uh, possible because of this particular file the next thing you can see here is a template which is html file app component html file it defines the html associated with the root component i'll tell you about all of these files in very detail in a, in a few seconds but let's first understand the structure first so app module bootstraps the angular app component app component or ts which is the um, like the very main or the uh, this very important component file for you which is the root component to you and this root component is actually calling the html file so from module to app component and from app component to app html file app component html file and now there is something also called as css file here this css file is responsible for styling your application and this particular file is actually a support for html file which is actually a view for your screen this is a view what you see the very important very less important file is spec.ts file this is basically a unit test for root component.ts which is rarely used and i am not going to explain any of the spec.ts file any further in these videos just just one single line for this that this is for unit testing your component files what all component file you write here this particular code tests your code this is something test bad which is not and my scope of development so 
that's all about the very high high level overview of it let's get deeper into app module.ts file okay so in ng module file that is app module which is a root module for the application we will understand in bit detail what are these things and how does these work so in app module.ts file ng modules are nothing but simple typescript classes which are decorated with at the rate ng module decorator which is actually imported from at the rate angular code library the purpose of this ng module is to declare each thing you create in angular and group them together just like a java packages so modules provide a way for developers to organize their code and they are particularly very helpful when your application grows in your size and more and more components will be added so your application always have at least one module which is a root module which is app module which if you can remember we bootstrap well in main.ts file you need to bootstrap the root module at the start of the application which is in uh, the app dot uh, the main dot js file so now let's understand what are these uh, declarations and imports and other things so ng module is defined by a class decorator at the rate ng module the at the rate ng module decorator is a function that takes a single object if you can see this particular thing takes a json object and this json object uh, contains the properties that describes the module the most important property he, uh, here def uh, defined is declaration so declaration declares views to make them privately available in a module so uh, all like in a very simple terms what all components you are going to make you have to declare it in the declaration part so if i in in a in a in a ahead of this particular application i create an admin component i have to register it with a comma here and a name here name of my component as of now i'm removing it but you have to register all your declarations and components here but just make sure that you remember that this is private declaration so just to make uh, the bundle out of it but not making these components available to other modules so if you want to make any of the module available to another module just uh, there is another thing called as export exports is another uh, thing you have in this particular um, ng module and you can declare your exports here like i want to make this particular thing exported and visible to other components i'll declare it here but as as of now we don't need because these are the uh, root components we shall never export these to other components the the third thing you can see here is imports so for any component to work it might require a help of other modules uh, because many of the times you might need these things to uh, in embed into your current module or component so import is where you import other modules like browser module platform dynamic modules and other modules the fourth thing here is providers providers are nothing but the uh, arrays of the services that you are going to inject in module so the dependency injections the services is something which i am going to explain in the later videos but as of now understand that component is only the view but the actual logic or uh, connection to the backend and databases everything is done in the something called as services these services contains the business logics which are written and which is basically then injected into the components so all the services you provide here in the provider are actually public and will be visible to all the other views too so only these declarations is something which is private exports is uh, making your component public imports is like importing other modules which is required for current module to work the next thing is providers which is the public services you require for your components and then the last thing is bootstrap which i have already explained you <coughs> that bootstrap is nothing but compiling and reading and actually creating an instance of it so in app component uh, in app module we bootstrap the app component which is the root component for this which is an entry point to the real logic or the part of the screen for your application 
now i'll tell you one single command with which you can create a custom component uh, or custom modules so that is ng generate module module name this is open the terminal here in the terminal you can cd to src folder and then cd to app folder in this particular folder you can do ng generate or simple g module and module name is so say something called as admin so with this you, you will be able to create the module named admin and now if you see in the app you have a module created that is admin and admin dot module that creates uh, this particular thing contains the same thing the decorator uh, from the angular core imports declaration and this is very very uh, custom module which is created uh, for us by one single command and so on we can continue further creating other components and HTMLs inside it so that's all about the app component which is a root component and custom component created by this particular command ng generate module and module name so i hope i'm clear with ng module uh, file which is a very important file which is the basic root module for you now we will further dig dug in into the app component.ts file which is the root component which is actually contains which is containing the screen part of your uh, something view which you are seeing as a localhost 4200